good evening welcome to my channel the angels of alchemy i'm spiritual medium and angelic channel d graywall and this is going to be your weekly energy read from monday october 11th to sunday october 17th i hope you all had a fabulous weekend real quick please be aware there's a lot of scammers about pretending to be other tarot readers uh, please know i never reach out to anybody asking them if they, if they would like a reading um so if anybody reaches out to you uh, pretending to be me, please know I never reach out to anybody. People seek me out for readings. The only way to book a reading with me is through the description box below. You'll see um, my website, theangelsofalchemy.com. Also my, my Facebook and Instagram. Um, that is listed in the description box below, but that is the only way to reach out to me for a reading. So please just be aware. Um, those of you who subscribe to my channel, thank you so, so much. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Please don't forget to give a like and thumbs up at the end of the reading. For those of you new to my channel, welcome. And if the messages resonate, give me that like and thumbs up. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel um, so you know when I'm posting future videos. So let's go ahead and look at the energy that we're in for this week. So um, we are in actually quite interesting energy okay um things are going to really start moving and shifting because you know we've kind of been in this period where we had several planets in retrograde and a lot of them are starting to uh turn um station direct and start their forward movement so that is going to kind of start shifting the energy where things are going to start happening and this is going to be a time where we're going to need to take action we have Pluto turn di uh, station direct on the 6th. And, you know, Pluto is the planet of death and rebirth, okay? It's a planet of um, transformation. Um, and it was in retrograde and now it's station direct. So as it begins its forward movement, you know, the things that we've been reflecting on um, that needed to be completed, it's kind of like there's going to be a finality. There is going to be a wrap up, okay? We've also, uh, yesterday, 1010, we had Saturn station direct. So Saturn is the planet of karma, okay? So now we've got the planet of death and rebirth and the planet of karma, both station direct and starting their forward movement. So this is actually going to be quite a significant time because with Saturn, we're going to be wrapping up very um, important cycles. There's, there's a, again, there's that finality, there's kind of this end you know that's happening there's some kind of major karmic cycle that's coming to completion here you would have been in the stages of review there's some kind of patterns and behaviors you would have repeated that are kind of wrapping up at this time um we will also have mercury and jupiter stationing direct on the same day and i believe it's either the 17th or 18th there's conflicting um posts that I've been reading about that, um, you know, so, but they're going to be stationing direct on the same day. So we're moving, so there's almost like this feeling of an amp, uh, ramp up of the energy at this time, things are going to start moving forward quite quickly. Um, and, and we're kind of setting the tone for the eclipses that are coming at the end of this year. So again, with eclipses, it's about what's being eclipsed out of your life. I'm not surprised with Saturn stationing direct, Pluto uh, stationed direct, you know, whatever we needed to wrap up is coming to completion. Um, so it, it is definitely going to be an interesting couple of weeks now with this energy. Let's go ahead and move into the reading. So it's funny because I believe the weekend energy read also had this very card. And it says here, a win-win outcome is forecast. So again, so, you know, full moon in Libra, I do feel the um, Libra full moon is going to be quite significant. Um, there is a feeling of things that were previously unbalanced or there was some kind of disharmony. Um, that is That energy is going to be shifting and there, things are going to be brought to balance here. Um, the other thing that I'm feeling here, whether or not, uh, how do I put this? So whatever situations are playing out for you right now, even if a situation comes to completion, you weren't really hoping for that outcome. 
know that there is something else that's going to be coming um, that is going to kind of exceed your expectations. So regardless of what happens and what ha transpires at this time, a win-win outcome is forecast. So things will things will come into fruition the way that they're meant to and in a way that it will be fair, it will be just, and it will be balanced. So even if things, you know, in the past have kind of completed in a way that was dissatisfactory um, for some of you, there's been a lot of disappointment and hurt, that is all going to be put to right, okay? So things will be fair, just, and balanced here. The, the first card that you have, I think this came out for the weekend energy, if I'm not mistaken, um, as well. Um, you have fear, okay? So I'm getting the sense and feeling, some of you have been feeling quite stuck, um, uncertain about what direction to move in. Some of you are worried about what the future holds, how to move forward. Some of you are worried about your dreams coming into fruition, okay? So you kind of, I'm feeling this energy of feeling stuck, um, uncertain, not quite sure which direction to move in or how to move forward. And, you know, there's a lot of shadow work that's being done at this time. I'm sensing like a, um, you're kind of working through some of the darker sides of, of what's unfolding in your life. So there's a lot of shadow work that's being done, but you really need to release this fear-based energy and kind of focus on all the positive and all the good and focus on gratitude to keep your vibration at the highest possible, um, at the highest possible level, right? You wanna keep your vibration high. And if you're in fear, then you're worrying and then you're stressed and that's just pulling your energy down. So we need to keep our energy up at this time. Now you're fearful because you're feeling stuck. You're kind of uncertain about what direction to go. And you, you're being guided with the hangman card here. You're being guided to see things from a fresh perspective, to see things from a spiritual perspective. You know, how can you free yourself? Well, one, you need to release these fears that you have because the only thing that's holding you back is this fear, okay? Um, and you're feeling fearful, you're feeling stuck because you're uncertain about your future, your path, your destiny, your purpose with the Wheel of Fortune card. Some of you, I feel like you've been dealt a hard hand. You feel like, you know, fate hasn't gone in your destiny, hasn't been in your direction or fate hasn't been in your direction. Things haven't kind of been, you know, you've been down on your luck, I feel like, with the Wheel of Fortune here. But the, the Wheel of Fortune is also a card of luck. It is a card of fortune. So, you know... Fear is keeping you stuck in, in relation to your path, your purpose, your destiny. But I do feel the wheel is here to turn now and move in a new direction. You kind of need to release these fears and surrender and give it to God. Give it to the universe, okay? Give it to whoever it is that you believe in. Let go and surrender. Because I think that's the other thing. And this is about you having blind faith, knowing that things are going to work out for you. So this fear is also about, are my manifestations going to come into fruition? You know, I've been, so as above, so below with the magician card, you're worried that, you know, you're worried about what you're going to achieve. You know, are your dreams, your desires, those goals that you've been focusing on, are they going to come into fruition? Perhaps you've been feeling stuck. For some of you, I'm really feeling like you've been in this place of taking one step forward and one step back and just kind of struggling. And now there's this feeling of, you know what, I just give up. I don't know where I'm meant to be. I don't know what my purpose is. You know, what am I supposed to be doing? How do I get myself out of this energy? I'm tired of being in this space. You know, some of you have felt very, um, like you're not in your power. You felt powerless in situations, right? You need to get yourself out of that energy and also put, do the work. Do the work on manifesting, um, creating a vision board, focusing on affirmations, focusing on those things that are going to kind of get you out of this fear-based energy and get you unstuck from the hangman energy here. Some of you are really feeling stuck in regards to work. 
career, finances, I'm sensing, okay? You have people, friends and colleagues. Um, I do get the sense and feeling, uh, you've got friends and colleagues and then you've got the nine of pentacles. I do feel you've been feeling quite solo in your energy. This is often viewed as a single lady card. It's a card of independence, okay? Somebody, um, the Knight of Pentacles is also, also a card of somebody who's self-confident, uh, creating their own abundance, feeling strong. But what I'm feeling here with the friends and colleagues is in the past, there's been a lot of deception. There's been a lot of backstabbing and betrayal from people that you considered to be friends or colleagues, whether it was in your work environment or outside of your work environment. There's been a lot of heartache and betrayal, I feel. People that you couldn't trust, people that, um, you know, I feel formed um, opinions about you and perhaps, you know, perhaps there was like unclosed chapters. For some of you, I'm feeling like, you know, there was unclosed chapters or um, you were treated unfairly, okay? And uh, for some of you, I feel like you walked away from situations where um, I feel some of you were giving more than you were receiving um, in these situations and you felt uh, treated unfairly. And so I feel for some of you, you really walked away and you walked away and went into an independent and solo energy and you started working on things on your own creating a solid foundation on your own because you felt unsupported you felt betrayed because you also do have the three of swords clarifying friends and colleagues and this sign of pentacles so yeah i'm feeling that in the past there's been a lot of betrayal a lot of backstabbing a lot of hurt um i'm feeling gossip deception um misinterpretation i'm feeling um people who kind of really didn't do right by you okay because um, you also have the Three of Swords with the Ten of Swords. And so I do feel that you walked away and closed out cycles. I also feel, you know, part of this Saturn wrap up for you is you're walking away from people, places, situations that do not serve you, where, you know, people are being deceptive and dishonest, where people have backstabbed you. You're walking away and walking away solo and independent because. I also feel these situations kind of um, brought you lessons. Um, I feel in a lot of ways you you stepped away and gained confidence on your own. Um, but it was very hard because the Ten of Swords and, and the Three of Swords, that's really tough energy right there. Okay, there's a lot of hurt that I'm feeling here. But you've kind of stepped away to... to you had to take care of you. You had to nurture yourself. I'm feeling that energy there. What's happening here is um, there seems to be some kind of return, some kind of message that's coming in quite quickly. Um, and again, I'm feeling this a part of that Saturn wrap up. You've got the Knight of Swords energy. I also feel what's happened in your past was very harsh, harsh words, um, cutting words, uh, or, you know, and I feel for some of you, a, a lot, you were caught by surprise. But I do feel that there is going to be some kind of communication or conversations that take place at this time, okay, that's going to also help you to continue to move forward, a wrapping up of a cycle of betrayal. Now, somebody could be coming in with an apology. There could be a reconciliation, okay? Um, there could be somebody from your past. You've got the Six of Cups. You know, somebody could be coming in to kind of mend a bridge, okay, to to apologize for some of you. Um, there could be just an honest and truthful conversation that takes place at this time. Um, and I do feel for some of you, somebody wants to work on investing in fixing a relationship or um, starting over. Um, and and if, if, even in work situations, I'm feeling like, you know, uh, somebody wants to present an opportunity as well. I do feel that you're going to reflect on whether or not you're going to even invest in this situation, okay? I also feel that you're evaluating, all right? This could be also a self-epiphany and realization um, with this Knight of Swords that you're having. You're evaluating where you are investing your time and energy and where it didn't serve you, 
where it only brought you heartache, grief, okay? Where it brought you just betrayal and deceitful energy and deception, okay? So whatever it is, this circumstance or situation actually made you more confident um, and kind of steered you in a direction of your path where you, where you stepped up and kind of took what was yours, um, you know, um, stepping into your power confidently. I feel that it's also taught you about self-love, self-acceptance, what you do and what you don't need in your life and the situations that you're going to allow and you're not going to allow. So take what resonates because I'm receiving it in several different ways there. You could also be looking back at your past with uh, a lot of nostalgia, I'm feeling. Then we have planning and action. I feel like you need to think about your next steps more, meditate on it, sit down, um, and just take a moment to focus on one little thing out of your goals and desires a day. What step can you take today that's going to contribute to your plan, to your to your dream, to your desire, to what it is that you're trying to manifest? Um, you've got the Ace of Pentacles clarifying planning and action. I do feel that you're moving to a time of success, but you got to be strategic. You have to plan. In order to create stability, you have to plan, okay, and take action towards your goals. Um, I do feel there's going to be new opportunities that come in at this time. For some of you, I feel like you you feel that you constantly have to fight and, you know, for what it is that you feel that you deserve. Um, some of you are feeling like I need to protect what I've created, okay? Uh, you've got the seven of wands. You're feeling very defensive, you know, feeling like I'm always having to fight to get to the top. That's the sense and feeling that I'm getting. But I do feel you need to stand your ground, not to lose your confidence at this time. Keep keep taking the steps towards achieving what it is. You've got the Ace of Pentacles clarifying Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel that you need to continue to move forward, take action, okay? Focus on your goals. Um, don't allow people to deter you from your path right now. Stand your ground and move forward with confidence. Keep taking steps to fulfill your visions, your desires, your goals. I do feel there's going to be a new opportunity that's coming up here, okay? And it's come from a lot of hard work. That's the sense and feeling that I'm getting. You're kind of in this energy of you needing to sit down and to reflect on how am I going to create this? What am I? What steps am I going to take here? But ultimately, you're in this time of there is going to be stability, okay? Even though things have, have been difficult, know that you're moving towards a time that's going to bring you more financial stability, success. There's going to be new doors of opportunities that are opening for you, okay? Some of you are going to have an opportunity to move in a new direction with your work and your career as well. But you have to take the steps. You've got to be co-creators with spirit. They can't do it for you, but they can work with you, okay? And here you have taking steps, moving forward, taking action, okay? How can you move yourself out of this fear-based energy, this stuck energy? How can you move towards your visions, your goals, your desires? Clarifying taking steps, you have the high priestess. So you are being guided to trust your intuition about the direction that you need to move in at this time. Okay, the high priestess is somebody who's incredibly psychic. She's very intuitive. Okay, I do feel pay attention to the guidance that's coming in. Pay attention to your dreams at this time because I do feel that there's a lot of messages that are coming in. You need to listen to the still voice within you. You will never be steered wrong if you listen to the voice within. Okay, don't allow the outside noise to distract you sit in meditation and allow yourself to listen because I feel like you know what you need to do but you kind of block yourself okay you get caught up in these um, thoughts and especially this fear based this shadow based energy here now clarifying the high priestess you've also got the king of swords 
I do feel that some of you are dealing with somebody who's who you feel is quite secretive, isn't open with communication, doesn't openly share. And you need to trust your intuition about this person. Some of you, I feel like <clears throat> there's something unfolding that you've had an intuitive and sixth sense about, but because you can't see the results of what's unfolding here, you, you, you doubt yourself. That's a sense of feeling that I'm getting there. Now with this King of Swords, some of you are freeing yourself from a situation, I feel, that was um, that where there was a lack of success, okay? This could be a romantic partnership. Um, I feel like you're kind of getting yourself unstuck, moving away from situations that are, are not bringing you victory, success, or rewards. The others of you, I'm feeling like, there's some kind of secret, there's some kind of information that's being brought to light, okay, that's being brought into your awareness, and you need to trust it, because I feel ultimately, whatever this is that's happening, is actually leading you to a time of greater success, okay, um, there is some kind of, you could be dealing with somebody who is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay, I do feel for some of you, there's going to be important communication that's coming in at this time that's going to kind of steer you in a direction. You have the Knight of Cups clarifying this King of Swords. So somebody could be coming in um, to make a confession. Um, somebody could be coming in with an apology at this time. Somebody wants to offer you something here, okay? Offer you a cup, all right? It might be a small offer, so I do feel that you need to be careful. You need to think about whether or not you're going to accept this offer. Don't settle um, is the sense of feeling that I'm getting. But I do feel somebody kind of is here wanting to have success in a situation with you, okay? Again, I'm feeling, um, I am being pulled towards a um, romantic connection here, okay? A partnership and alliance. Um, but... For others of you, I feel like don't settle for a, a knight's cup. You deserve more, okay? Um, trust your intuition about how to move forward at this time. You do have the card of new beginnings. So there's definite, there's a definite shift in energy. And I also feel around the 18th, um, as we get out of that Mercury uh, retrograde and Mercury stations direct and Jupiter stations direct, I almost feel like your luck is going to change. There's something, um, the energy is going to shift, okay? So where you've been feeling stuck, I feel like that energy is going to start to move. With this new beginnings, that I'm almost feeling like a, a rebirth, a, a birth of a new idea, a new creative endeavor, a new project that really kind of brings you stability. Uh, new a job opportunity that I'm sensing here as well. Clarifying this, you have the high priest. There is some kind of new beginning that you're going to be very committed to. Some of you, there's a new, be there's a spiritual awakening. There's a, almost like this next step on on your ascension. Some of you are going to be receiving guidance from some kind of spiritual teacher or leader as well. That's going to kind of be giving you support. Uh, there'll be an opportunity here with this um, and a new cycle that's beginning. For others of you, I almost feel like a renewed faith, okay? Um, some of you are going to be uh, following kind of a, your, your spiritual path and spiritual purpose. I, a purpose. I almost feel like a, a, a recommitment to something that you've done in the past related to, to your spiritual path. Some of you, I'm feeling that there. This, I almost feel like your renewed faith, okay? Um, I'm really feeling this awakening and this support coming in from spirit at this time. You're going to be moving into a time where there's going to be a lot more peace and harmony in your life. So where you feeling conflicted here in the start of this read, here you are feeling um, a lot more peace, harmony, feeling balanced, feeling secure and stable. You're kind of going through, yeah, It's this is definitely some kind of epiphany, self-epiphany and realization, enlightenment I'm feeling. You know, you're going to have um, greater truths 
and clarity at the forefront. There's some kind of spiritual truth that you're realizing here, okay? Um, important things that are going to be realized during this time, ultimately, that are going to be leading you to a time of greater peace and harmony. Now, there is going to be a new beginning in regards to partnerships, alliances, and relationships. Could you have kindred partnerships? What I'm feeling here is for some of you, this is going to be new partnerships in career, people that you're going to be working with, okay? Um, some of you, you're going to reconnect with people from the past and be working with them. This is going to bring um, new opportunities of abundance and prosperity. For others of you, this is about a romantic partnership and relationship here. Because clarifying here, uh, clarifying this kindred partnership, you do have the two of cups. But again, I'm feeling new alliances and old alliances, like people that you're going to be meeting up with, or, uh, with again, with the two of cups, okay? People coming together. But I'm also feeling that there's something, there's some energy of a relationship coming together, two people coming together in divine union. Um, and this this relationship, this kindred partnership, whether it's going to be career or a romantic partner, there's a lot of passion in your projects, okay? Two people that are passionate about the same things, wanting to work on the same projects, okay? That pay attention to the people that come into your life right now that are part of your soul's path, your soul's journey. You're going to be connecting with people from your soul group that you're meant to be working with. And there's gonna be a lot of new creative projects that are gonna be extremely fruitful. I do feel this is a time to take a leap of faith to move in a new direction, okay? Um, but I also feel that there's a truly kindred partnership romantically that is coming, two people coming together in divine union. There's a lot of passion between these two souls. It could be a soulmate or even a twin flame coming together. Clarifying, two of cups, you do have the king of cups. So there's somebody here who um, has a lot of feelings, has a lot of emotions, okay? Um, but doesn't always openly share, I feel, doesn't always openly share their feelings and emotions. Perhaps um, some of you could be dealing with somebody from the past and others of you, this is going to be brand new, something completely new. But in the past, perhaps there was a lack of reciprocity, lack of reciprocity in your relationships. That energy is shifting. You have the King of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. I do feel somebody wants to come in and offer you something. They want to kind of give you a gift. There's also a, a blessing that's coming in from the universe. You're going to be on the receiving end of some type of gift. And where there wasn't reciprocity in the past in your relationships, there is going to be balance and reciprocity now. You also have, I had to pull a few cards because it was quite, you know, I wanted to get to the, the bottom of the, what this was. Again, somebody wants to offer you something. Now, it might start out very small and it could be an apology here that I'm feeling as well, okay? Um, but somebody does want to offer a cup. But be careful that um, you know exactly what you're getting into before you invest your energy. You know, make sure that you're truly getting what you deserve, okay? And that this offer that's coming in is genuine. Um, I do feel a deep loving bond here, okay? And there is a new beginning. Somebody wants to start fresh, start new, okay? They wanna start over, all right? Um, I do feel that some of you really need to take a leap of faith. You've got the full card. Um, and this is gonna be a new beginning in a relationship. Okay, you've also got the four of wands, two people coming together in a deeply committed relationship, divine union. This is also the card of twin flames coming together. Now there's somebody who um, will offer you, I feel, a serious commitment, a reliable relationship. Some of you, I feel like you're gonna be faced with a decision between two people, okay? You might decide to just, I'm walking away from this energy of the past because I wanna walk towards my wish fulfillment and I wanna walk towards a stable relationship, okay? Um, but again, I'm feeling, I really feel this, you got the king of pentacles. 
So somebody does want to offer a stable, solid relationship, um, marriage, okay? This is somebody who's quite strategic. I feel somebody's kind of planning something. You can't see everything. It's not at the forefront right now because it's not meant to be. Because when it does come in, you're going to be extremely surprised, I feel, and very happy with the outcome. Some of you, again, you might have to be choosing between people, two people, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So you've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But I really kind of feel that this is one and the same energy, all right? Um, so whatever this is, it is fated because you have the Wheel of Fortune. Some Something that was unfair and unjust in the past the wheel is moving in your favor. There's good luck here, good fortune, okay? And I truly feel that this, um, you're going to be very surprised and uh, and this kind of, this outcome is going to um, exceed your expectations. For others of you, you're going to be forming kindred partnerships and alliances um, in regards to your career that are going to bring you, uh, I almost feel, a lot of stability and coin. I'm really feeling money is at the forefront as well. But even with this King of Pentacles, this person that's coming in, I feel you could be dealing with somebody who's an entrepreneur, very strategic, great with money and finances, okay? Um, I'm also feeling stepping into a position of leadership, new opportunities uh, in regards to work and career. Um, you could be stepping into a, a position of leadership as well. I'm definitely feeling that. But all of this is fated. It's de destiny. It's meant to happen. Okay, so let's look at your guidance cards here. You have, let me go with this first. You have Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive. I do get the sense and feeling that you're being guided to kind of really um, get to know yourself on a deeper level. Dive deep into your emotions. Start asking why. When you get to know yourself on a deeper level, you allow yourself to actually get to know other people as well. Um, you get to understand your relationships from a different perspective. You also understand why you've gone through the cycles and patterns that you've gone through and ultimately where have they led you. So I do feel you kind of need to dive into deep into your emotions um, what do you need to forgive? What do you need to release so you can attract greater love into your life? Where do you need to love yourself more? You know, it's about you doing the shadow work and kind of coming into um, divine alignment with yourself, understanding yourself on a deeper level so that you can have deeper understanding in your relationships, okay? Um, you also have here... Deep knowing. I feel like you need to really kind of listen to your intuition right now. Um, focus on meditating because everything that you need is here for you. Your, your intuition is the connection to source. There are answers that are flooding and coming in within us every single day. But we kind of let the chatter of the mind and the distractions on the outside to get in the way Everything we need is right here, right now within us. And when we focus on our connection to source and we use our intuition, we have deeper clarity. So you've got really two cards that are telling you to kind of dig deep, listen to your intuition, allow the wisdom of your soul to kind of guide you forward here. Pay attention to, you got serendip serendipity. Sorry, I messed that one up for a minute. But I do feel you need to um, focus on signs that you're getting from the universe. There's a lot of good luck and good fortune, okay? Pay attention to the messages that the universe is bringing to you. People, places, and situations that are literally signs from the universe because there's serendipity that's unfolding here for you. A lot of good luck and good fortune um, that is on the horizon. So that's your reading from the 11th to the 17th. I'm wishing you a blessed and beautiful week ahead. I'll be back soon. Take care. Namaste.